Hello, it's Dan Webster here in the golf studio at St Anne's Old Links Golf Club and today I'm going to have a little look at Ping's new collection of irons. Yes, they have currently five irons, five iron models in 2018 and I just want to help you decide which might be right for you because they're all different lofts, different shapes, different sizes and designed to do different things. So we're going to have a little look at that, hit a few shots and see how they compare and perform. If you do like the channel, if you do want to hit the subscribe button, DWG logo down the bottom there, Subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on future review videos, free lesson tips, and obviously a few giveaways as well. We've got a nice giveaway happening at the minute. Make sure you click on the link below to win yourself a Nike driver. But let's have a little look at these irons. So first of all, we've got the Ping G400. This is probably the one that's been in the market the longest out of the cl clubs we've got in front of us. This has been a great performing club, right price point around about the £100 per club. It's got the cut CORI in the back. Forgiveness and distance, 30 degrees in loft. This is quite a strong iron, strong seven iron, but again designed for high launch, low spinning, and certainly a distance club. Next, we've got the eye blade. So I'm gonna use the same shaft for each shot. I'm gonna pop it in each club. So we're gonna have next up the eye blade. This is Ping's bladed club. This is for the better player. This is for the guy that wants buttery feel in Ping's own words. It's got the elastomer in the sole, the active elastomer to make it a little bit more forgiving. Very thin sole designed for an easy turf interaction. The weakest lofted, 34 degrees. It's almost a full club difference. This is a seven iron and we're probably gonna see it struggle up against its predecessors. One thing I will say about this club, at 120 pound per club, a little bit more expensive than the G400 and certainly not gonna suit everybody. This is Ping's entry into the better player market. Then I think Ping got a little bit concerned about the power clubs. TaylorMade's P790, it brought out the G700. This is a hollow club. It is very, very strong. 29.5 degrees aloft, it is Ping's longest and highest flighted iron around. It's probably one of the most powerful clubs on the market currently, and look at about £140 a club. It is a bit more expensive again, but is it worth it? We'll find out shortly, but this has been a cracking club in all our fits recently. We're gonna put it to the test in a little while. Then we move on to the new i210. So this is the chap that might want a good looking club again, that buttery feel, Ping, keep using that word. It's got the active elastomer in the back of the club and in the sole, encouraging better uh, compression of the ball on the club face, more time spent on the face apparently. This is lofted at 33 degrees. So again, it is one of the weaker clubs. I've set us up on a hole that's 171 yards to carry the front bunker 150 to get past the mid bunker. It's about 165. And some of these clubs might not be able to perform. We'll see the distances shortly. But again, this is a player's club, a performing club. We'd expect a little bit higher spinning, a bit more control and a different feel. I would say Ping have gone, okay, this is the buttery feel. This is a buttery feel with a bit of turbo, a bit of power. And that's the I-210. And then finally, I think the one that they've gone, right, let's just mix it all together. We've got a hollow face, the maraging steel. Again, it's a wood, performs like a wood, but it's an iron, but it looks as good as the blade and the I-210. It performs as well as the G700 and the G400. It's up at the high price point again at 140. Is it worth it? 140 per club, that is. Uh, I've got to say, I like what I've done with it so far. In some tests we've done, we find it a bit low spinning. We'll see how it performs on this green now. So I'm gonna hit a few shots with each club. We've got HMT dots on each of the faces. We're using the Telemade TP5 ball for each of the shot. I'm gonna use the exact same shaft. This is Dynamic Gold 105 S300 shaft for each of these shots. So we've got everything pretty much as consistent as we can, apart from obviously the uh, human error, my swing. So first of all, this is the G400 iron. It's quite a thicker looking club. We know we've got that hydropill finish that Ping are using with most of their clubs now. So we've got that pin at 174. I need to carry that front bunker. This is probably one of the stronger clubs. That felt a little bit towards the bottom of the club, but yeah, we've just carried on to the front of the green at 160. That felt solid. Should be just carrying over that bunker a lot easier this time, yeah. That's carried up at 163. We're just in that nice shorter landing area. I don't take this over that right hand bunker that you can see there. I don't think it would carry. Final shot with a G400. Just took it a little bit more out of the pin. Yeah, again, it's just carrying onto the front of the green and running up towards. So around that 1-6 something carry. So it's a nice performing club, nice and forgiving. Hit a couple of those strikes, not ideal. Hate to think what would happen with the blade. That's next up. Let's change over. 
Okay, straight away, this is the eye blade now, a much slimmer looking profile. I'm not sure if I would have got away with that first shot with this one. Uh, very nice looking club, we know Pinky talking about this buttery feel, this will feel totally different. This is the weakest of the clubs. I'd be really surprised if this carries to the front of the green. We're going to give this the beans. I've hit that as hard as I can. And because I'm having to hit it a bit harder, there's a chance to, sure enough, I pulled it left. And yeah, that's not, that wouldn't have got up there. Let's see if we get this one on, on target. So again, straight away, I'm losing that forgiveness. I'm losing that forgiveness around the club head. It's a good looking club though. It is very good. Let's see if we can get this one on line. Okay, so that's more like it. Will it carry that front bunker? Just crept up onto the green there. Hmm, it's definitely going to be a bit shorter again. We know it's 34 degrees. It's pretty much a full club shorter. I'm having to feel like I'm hitting this hard to get it to the green. Certainly to get it up to that pin. Can I carry over that front bunker a bit more to the right? Okay, he's taking it on. You can see straight away. That blade is not for me. This is requiring a lot more uh, consistency of strike than I'm currently giving it, that's for sure. Okay, that's not great on my list. Let's find out how the G700 performs. The power club. This is the one that should get me all the way to the back of the green. So, G700, right, this is the turbo club. This is the one that I can guarantee I don't feel like I need to hit it hard. It's just going to go. I don't feel like I need to swing so good because it's just going to be forgiving. I expect this one to get there quite comfortably without any special treatment. And straight away, I don't know if you can hear that, much louder strike off the face. That's carried a long way again, pulled it left, that's the first one to carry to 170. Again, let's make sure we keep this maybe a little bit to the right. I can take it over that right hand bunker this time. Total distance 173. Yeah, that's the one. So straight away, I feel with this club that I can hit it out to that right hand side of the green. It's going to get up there. That's carried well up the green. This is the power club. One more with the G700. Let's see that right hand bunker there. I'm going to see if I can get it over that and bring it back in. I wouldn't even dream of trying this with that first, uh, with that certainly the eye blade. Okay, over the right hand bunker. We're at it. Look at it drawing its way back to that pin. Wow, we like that one. Just pitched next to the pin. We like the G700. The downside looks a bit chunky. If only Ping had got something that performed like that, but looked like the blade. Mm, we shall see. Anyway, next it's the I210. This is the club for the player that maybe wants that look and feel, but wants a little bit more help. Okay, so now I've got the I210 iron. This is, uh, I've done a review on it already. This is again the latest model from Ping, just been launched with the i500. Now for me, again, I couldn't really see much of a difference between this and the i200. If you've got the Ping i200, you don't need to rush out and buy this, but certainly give it a try. Uh, but today the exercise here is to see where it fits in the new Ping family. Straight away, nice looking top edge. We know it's got the elastomer, we know it's gonna give us a little bit of a hotter, feel than the blade and a bit more forgiveness, but also at the same time, apparently still buttery as Ping claim. So again, when I look at this, I feel like I've still got to give this a trip to get it there. We know it's 33 degrees. Okay, that was quite a nice strike. That's all right. It's going to carry that bunker quite easily. A lot easier than the eye blade. So yeah, if you are looking for a club that looks and feels like the blade, but gives you a little bit more power and a little bit more forgiveness, you know, that cold frosty morning in winter when you don't fancy hitting a blade, this could be the club, that felt good. Let's even go down that right side. Yeah, that's good again. These are coming off hot, that's going quite far, that. You can just see that carrying up to that 167 mark on the green. That's good, so that you can see that right hand bunker, let's see if I can get it over that, get it out towards that and bring it back. I wouldn't have dreamt of this with the blade. So yeah, we can hit it at it. It's coming back, it's working its way back. I quite like that. Again, not quite as far as that G700, but we know there's a few degrees weaker here, but we'll certainly take that just left of the pin. The I210, again, it's forgiving, it looks good, and it's got a little bit of power, it's a bit juiced up. Right, the next one, the I500, can it pull them all together? 
Wow, the i500, you know I've li I like this from a previous review. It looks absolutely brilliant. It looks like a blade. It's got the buttery feel apparently. It's got the maraging face, it's hollow. It's 30.5 degrees, it's not the strongest but it's not the weakest. It does everything, it brings the rest of them together. This is the 140 pound per club. Um, and I, th I really think Ping have gone, you know what, for the guy that wants the feel, wants the looks, wants the distance, the Ping i500 could be the club. Once again, I've got the same shaft, the 105 in it in the stiff. I really think I can hit it over that right-hand bunker here, and no, that is hot. I can hit it at that right-hand bunker. Wow, bringing it back, carrying up to the pin. That's beautiful. That is absolutely superb. It looks brilliant behind the ball. It looks like a player's club, but it has all the characteristics of the others built in. I really feel like I can hit this hard without any worry. Yeah, that's good again. Just a little left that sign, but look how that's flying. It's carrying up to where the other ball's finished. Last shot with the i500, do love the look of this club. It sits fantastic. I'm gonna hit it out over that right hand bunker, bring it back. We know it's got the power to get over it all. Oh, that looks great. Okay, swinging it back towards the pin. It's gonna pitch close. That's lovely, love that. I knew I could hit that out to the right, knowing it's gonna come back with my little draw, but also knowing if it stayed out there, it had enough carry to stay over that right-hand bunker. Let's have a little closer look at the numbers and just see how these clubs stack up against each other if they do what they say they should. That's beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna have a little look at these numbers and see exactly which club does which. So, so first off, we use a G400. This is a red line here. Ball speed, 112.5, one of the slowest. That and the eye blade was quite slow. So you can see why Ping brought out the G700, jumped that ball speed straight up to 117. It's hotter. Launch angle identical with those two. Backspin very similar. The ball speed was softer off the G700. That's the maraging face. It's gonna give you a bit more distance for sort of 40 pound per club more. Carry difference, almost nine yards. That's the G400 versus G700. They've joined the power game, Ping, certainly with that club. We went then to the blade, obviously. We know that's gonna be the lowest ball speed. It's not designed for power and it's probably got the highest launch angle. Yeah, one of the highest, 17.5, that's, that's interesting. Highest spin, definitely 5,700. Carry 158, the lowest carry. And I didn't feel as I can get all the way up the green, as you can see, uh, with that club, 162 total. The, the i210 was next in purple at the bottom there. Good ball speed, I knew it came off hotter than the eye blade and it did that. So that i210 is a club that gives a bit more power but still gives us the looks and the feel. Spin was nice as well, 5.3. These are quite low spinning for a seven I remember, um, but also certainly a good high launch angle. That popped up quite nicely. Carry 165, total 1671. So that's given me seven more yards carry than the eye blade, almost a half a club to a club longer and only one degree difference. So there's something in that technology in the face, certainly. And then the daddy of all, the i500, the one that seems to have pulled all these clubs together for ping. 118 ball speed, the hottest ball speed. A good launch angle at 17.8, so it's getting up in the air. However, it's a low spin, it's 4.9. You can see when I got it on the green, because it's high launch, it's gonna come down softer. Yes, it'll stop on the green, but remember, low spin, it's harder to control. Just beware, if you're going for yardage, low spin might just cost you. So sure enough, 172 total carry, uh, sorry, 172 carry, 177 total. For me, you know, you might think if you're after a bit of distance, you're after a bit of feel, you're after it looking good, that I-500 could be the club. If you're thinking of a nice starter club, the G400 certainly, but we could see it's near the bottom of the power, 170, carry, 170 total, 161 carry. We now know why Ping have joined in this power struggle with TaylorMade, obviously Callaway and PXG. So summarizing these clubs first of all think about what you're looking for in a golf club do you want distance do you want control do you want looks do you want appeal get fitted spend time with your pga professional and make sure he measures gets the right shaft the right flex the right line angle, and all the things right for you but have the choice and in that choice the ping choice at the moment the blade gives us a nice bit of spin and control but it's not that easy a bit less forgiving the i210 gives us forgiveness for that blade, that feel and control. The G400, it's okay, but the G700 gives us loads of power, loads of height, nice ball flight. For me, the i500 brings it all together, the best of everything. Just downside to that, you're gonna lose out on the spin. Once again, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that quick comparison of Ping's latest additions to the market. 
please like, share, subscribe, and uh, help me grow the channel. Let's uh, comment below. If there's anything you want me to review, any comments you have about this video, please share them with me. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you all very soon. See you later.